What if I told you the next world crisis won't be about oil, but water? And no, it's not just happening in deserts. Right now, some of the most beautiful, powerful, and unexpected countries on Earth are running out of water. And most people have no idea. This is not just about thirst. It's about survival, food, migration, and even more. Here are 10 countries you didn't know are running out of water and why it's a global red flag we can't ignore. Number 10, Italy. Yes, Italy. Land of pasta, wine, and historic Roman aqueducts. But today, those aqueducts are leaking like crazy. Italy loses up to 40% of its clean water through broken, outdated pipes before it ever reaches homes. In 2022, the mighty Per River dried so low, they found a World War II bomb at the bottom. From farming to drinking, Northern Italy is in deep trouble and climate change is only making it worse. Number nine, Chile. Chile has glaciers, mountains, and coastline, but the capital city, Santiago, might run out of water in the next decade. The Atacama Desert, already one of the driest places on earth, is spreading. And get this, avocados are partly to blame. Each avocado takes around 70 liters of water to grow. So yes, your guacamole has a water footprint. Number eight, India. India gets more rain than most countries. So why is it running out of water? Because most of that rain comes all at once during monsoon season and then disappears. There's almost no system to store or manage it. Over 600 million people in India already face water stress. And major cities like Delhi and Bangalore could run dry within this decade. That's not a prediction. That's a warning. Number seven, Iran. Iran once mastered desert survival with ancient underground water tunnels called canids. Today, the country is on the edge of collapse due to water shortages. Lake Ormia, once the largest in the Middle East, is nearly gone. Farmers are drilling wells deeper and deeper, chasing disappearing groundwater. In 2021, people protested in the streets for water. The crisis isn't just environmental anymore, it's political. Number six, Mexico. Mexico has tropical rainforests and long coastlines. But in 2022, Monterrey, one of its biggest cities, faced a full-blown water emergency. People got water for just a few hours a day, while large companies kept bottling and exporting water like nothing was wrong. The poor waited in line. The rich kept swimming in their pools. A perfect storm of inequality, overuse, and a changing climate. Number five, South Africa. In 2018, Cape Town made global headlines for being the first major city to face day zero, when taps would run completely dry. Reservoirs dropped, panic spread. People lined up to collect water under military guard. They narrowly avoided disaster, but barely. South Africa proved that even modern cities can collapse fast when the water runs out. Number four, Uzbekistan. Once home to the massive Aral Sea, Uzbekistan is now known for one of the worst environmental disasters in human history. Why? Soviet-era water diversion for cotton farming drained the rivers feeding the sea. Today, what's left is a toxic desert, rusting ships, poisonous dust storms, dried up villages, entire communities were lost, all because of water mismanagement. Number three, Spain. Spain famous for its beaches and wine, is getting dangerously dry. The South is turning into a desert, and wildfires are growing worse each year. And here's the twist. Illegal farms are draining protected aquifers to grow crops like strawberries, mostly for export. In one case, a farm was caught stealing water from a nature reserve. Spain has water, but it's being stolen faster than it's being replaced. Number two, United States. Yes, even the US is on this list. The Colorado River supplies water to 40 million people across seven states, and it's shrinking fast. Lakes Mead and Powell are hitting record lows. Meanwhile, farms are growing water-hungry crops like alfalfa in the desert to ship overseas. That means American water is literally being exported. In some towns, residents are watching their taps go dry while their water leaves in freight containers. Number one, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia tried to do the impossible, grow wheat in the desert. 
and they did by pumping ancient groundwater that took 20,000 years to form. Now, it's almost gone. Today, nearly all of Saudi Arabia's drinking water comes from desalination, removing salt from seawater. It's expensive, it's energy hungry, and it creates toxic brine dumped back into the ocean. It's survival, but at a massive cost. Ooh, ultra. So what does this mean? The water crisis isn't just coming. It's already here, and it's hitting countries no one expected, from snowy peaks to sunny beaches. This isn't about the future. It's about now. So let me ask you this. What would you do if the water stopped tomorrow? No drinking, no cooking, no showers. Think about it. If this opened your eyes, share it and drop a comment. Which country surprised you the most? Make sure to subscribe for more strange, urgent, and mind-blowing facts from around the world. Because the truth, it's often hidden in plain sight.